When we had last left Team Bald, they delved into the Shrine Temple place of Il Mater, Il Mater, where they were to investigate a seedy underground den of iniquity. Yes, it was where the duo couple of assassinos, Slythe and Kristen, were hanging out, and they were the ones who were perhaps behind all that had gone wrong with certain members of the duchy, the dookie, the, the dookie, <laughs> with the, the duchy, with the duchy, the, right? No, because that would be like duchesses, right? Or is it, is a duchess like a duke? The high-ranking government officials of Baldur's Gate. However, it turned out that they had bit off even more than they had suspected. For as Team Bald arrived on the scene, the couple decided to lunge out and attack them, attempting to slay them in one fell swoop as well. But Team Bald, alas, persevered and and was able to recover valuable information from their cold fucking bodies <laughs> and also found on them a cool invitation to the Ducal inauguration at the Ducal Palace, where Team Bald, I guess, was now ready to go. This is Baldur's Gate. Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let's unhide all of this, and apologies as well. If you're watching these videos as they're coming out, I'll mention it here as I did in all the other current videos, uh, playthroughs and stuff we have going at the moment. Uh, we missed a video on the weekend because I got sick. You'll remember, toward the end of last week's, I sort of uncharacteristically was like getting kind of tired. I was like, huh, weird. I guess I'm you just tired. I don't know. What? As I think uh, that was actually probably like early fatigue setting in because I had like gotten some kind of illness or whatever. Originally, I thought maybe it was COVID finally catching up with me, but we uh, burned through a test and everything just to make sure and no, probably some kind of um, food poisoning or foodborne illness, something along those lines, uh, because we went to the movie theater to see the Batman, which I thought was pretty good. Um, and I think, I don't know, the movie theater popcorn may have done something to me, or I, I have no idea. <laughs> it's no good. Weirdly, the last time I got sick like that, it was when I went to see Avengers Endgame, another, like, popcorn movie, where I got popcorn, right? And yeah, I got sick after it. Anyway, who to thunk? There you have it. Probably not going to have movie theater popcorn ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case that's it. You know what? It ain't that big of a deal for me. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get like a drink or something else. I don't even need anything. Fuck. Shit. With movies getting longer these days? Fuck. How, how am I supposed to even last? Jeez. Give me a fucking intermission. But anyway, we took weekend off because of all that. Uh, seemingly, we're back to normal. I sound... I feel pretty normal. I sound pretty normal. I've got like an infrequent cough, but maybe that's just normal. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just maybe that's just me now. Maybe that's just me. You know, <laughs> sometimes as you get older, sometimes something in you just fucks up, and then you're like, "That's just part of me now. <laughs> that's, that's just a part of how I live now. This is just a part of me." Oh man, now now I just I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> this is just me. It's horrible. <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> sorry, got a little fucking dark there. But as you can tell, we're in good spirits. Um, I, I feel pr pretty much back to normal. We'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I was planning on yesterday's Skyrim video being a little bit shorter, but it ended up going on for longer, so... Hey, I think we'll be okay going for usual length here with Baldur's Gate, right? Excited to see what the hell happens as we turn up here to the fucking ducal inauguration here. I guess we should quick save there just in case we get accosted immediately upon exiting. Alright. So that is our next order of business, right? Or should we go to Duke Elton? Hmm. 
We could go to Duke Elton, but where is Duke Elton at? At the Ducal Palace or at... It's El Elton... It's not Elton Silvershield, because that's Entar Silvershield, right? Yeah, it's someone else. Don't worry hmm. about me. I guess we'll just go see... What's their butt get inaugurated? I suppose? Or no, you know what? Let's just give it a shot. Let's see, where is the... Place we're looking for right over here, right? Yeah, it's Entar Silvershield's estate, so I don't... I don't think so, but it may be worth checking out. I've got this. Alright, just on the off chance. There we are. Hopefully we don't get accosted by any horrible bastard. Oh, are they running from us? I don't know. Alright. Good. You must gather I won't quick save again in case we just want to quick load right out of here. There we are. Good. Yes? Hello there. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to leave. Everyone has left the estate to mourn the death of Entar Silvershield. So sad, really. Such a great man taken in the prime of his life. What kind of evil creature would murder such a man? I believe we have an idea. Okay. Well, you we better it? fucking leave You've before we get in trouble here even more so. <laughs> Alright. You know what? We'll quick load out. F it. All right. You want it? You got there it. There we go. And then let's go over, I guess, to the to the ducal zone. <laughs> Should we go over to the ducal zone? Let's watch the inauguration. Yo, I can't wait. Are we going to turn up here and like how All right, come on. How is how is the the inauguration going to go down with fucking I presume Saravak is the dude from the beginning, right? From the opening cinematic. Is this motherfucker really about to stroll into like the ducal, the archducal chambers or whatever? Like, <laughs> it's me, friendly neighborhood Saravok, everyone's favorite nice guy in the scary, fucked up armor and the terrifying murder voice. I can't wait to be your newest Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. I have, the, I have the best interests of everyone in mind. <laughs> Is that really what's gonna happen? <laughs> like, is that's our that's how he really sounds? Like, Don't we gave him like me. kind of a good voice, right, for for his disguise and whatnot. But won't people be like, oh, you're not talking like Saravak, you know, the mercenary killer man from the Iron Throne? Because while he's with the Iron Throne, he's known as Saravak. He's not using his disguise of uh, Caveras or whatever. So he's, he's not just talking like a regular guy, but he's talking like himself. He would be talking like Saravak, unless he goes into like evil Saravak mode when he's ready to murder. He's like, this is my real way of dealing with things. <laughs> my balls are huge. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go over here. <laughs> hey, Bill, I have an invitation. Hello. Hello. Greetings. I assume you've come to the palace of the, for the coronation of Saravok. Well then, I need to see your invitations. We don't have invitations. Sorry for bothering you. Here are the invitations. Could you let us in now? We're in a hurry. It's really very important that we get inside. Could you just let us in? Here's the invitations. Don't be so impatient. Let's take a look at these invitations. Hmm... Yes, they do look authentic. All right then, you can enter. Oh, <laughs> it just <laughs> it just pips right up there. Great. Okay. I've got this. Like, how is this Saravak guy tricking, fooling anybody? And in fact, he's not. Like, how is how has he fooled anyone that he's like a good dude? Because yeah, half of the commoners are like. Yeah, something doesn't seem right about this guy. I don't know if I trust Saravok. It seems a little weird what he's doing. Something doesn't feel right. Meanwhile, Saravok is like 
standing over in the fucking corner, cl- like cloaked in a mist of fog and decay, would like towering eleven feet off the ground with like bulk, bulked out, super spiked armor, just like laughing to himself like some kind of fucking cartoon villain. <laughs> Some fucking wizard could just cast detect evil and see, oh yeah, this guy's evil. Fuck, you don't even need to be a wizard. You just look over at him and see like the ten corpses behind him. (laughs) As he's laughing menacingly. (laughs) It's me, Saravok, the greatest trickster in all of the Sword Coast. No one ever suspected what I could do. What a fucking master of disguise. I've got this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Alright. Now now they don't know who we are. <laughs> Could you please hand over your invitations to the palace? We don't have any invitations. We don't need invitations. Here are the invitations. That's wild. After you get in, you could potentially say that you don't have them. Huh. Well, here they are. Thank you very much. You may pass now. I have entered the Ducal Palace. Now I must prevent Serevok from becoming a Grand Duke and slaying the other Grand Dukes to seize ultimate power. Alright. Let's do a quick save. I've got this. Anything else around here? Oh shit, there he is! <laughs> He's wearing his big evil armor and everything! He's wearing his evil armor! Look at him! He's wearing the spiked out looking fucking dark seed armor! What's going on? He's from the fucking Snyderverse! Come on! Don't worry about that. <laughs> Nobody thinks this guy is fucked up! Oh dear god, alright. Oh, we're just entering here. Okay, okay, that's... <laughs> Good luck, Shahira. Belt. What a fucking name. I don't even know how this guy talks. Now that all our guests have arrived, we can begin with the ceremony that you all you have all been awaiting. As all of you know, this is a special occasion for the city of Baldur's Gate. Oh, okay. It is time for a new person to join the ranks of the Grand Dukes. I do not wish to downplay the tragedy that we have suffered with the loss of Entar Silver Shield, but this is not the time for us to show grief. The votes have been tallied from those submitted by the landowners. The result was nearly unanimous. Dog, they have got to be all doppelgangers. If they are not all doppelgangers, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> right? All right, just as well, all the all the landowners in the city, or does that also extend to like places beyond Baldur's Gate? Right? I wonder how the political system fucking works. Right? Fucking. <laughs> this is why I get for having played Disco Elysium before this game. <laughs> I start wondering about shit like, uh, how does their voting system work? Do the people who live outside of town and are influenced by the government of Baldur's Gate, are they actually impacted by the goings-on in Baldur's Gate? Do they have a say in what happens here? <laughs> all right, continue. Also Duke Elton, has his condition improved at all? If he dies, who will replace him? What about the rumors of Arm mobilizing for war? Why aren't we preparing for war? With our iron shortage, how are we to defend ourselves? Who will give us the iron we need? What of the Centaurum? I've heard that Centaurum. they may be somehow involved. I believe that Elton was poisoned by members of the Shadow Thieves. They're obviously trying to kill our leaders. All of your questions will be answered in due time. You need not worry. Antar was killed by Shadow Thieves, agents <laughs> of Arm. If it isn't obvious to the rest of you, it's obvious to me. Arm wants a war! The evidence we have about Entar's murder does resemble the work of the Shadow Thieves, but... Uh Uh-oh. Is this our opportunity? We kick down the door. I object! (laughs) Or, this marriage is cancelled! Or, what do you say? You you say I object, right? That's what they... If anyone... uh, 
hold your hold your horses or what do they, what do they say when people are getting married it used to be like the big uh, like television movie trope like if anyone has anything to say about these two people being loftily wedded in holy matrimony please do speak up <laughs> and then you come in and you're like hold your fucking horses <laughs> Resembles? That's ridiculous. The signature left behind on the body was the mark of the shadow thieves. Are you blind and stupid, woman? Oh, cool. If I may continue. The signature left behind was very blatant and could have been put there to mislead all of us. Mm. Who would want to mislead us? <laughs> Look at the fucking room, dude! <laughs> Look at fucking Dark Seed over there! Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's got like glowing yellow eyes. <laughs> he has fangs drooling with like poison. <laughs> Perhaps I could interject something before this meeting degenerates into meaningless bickering. We are here to welcome our new Grand Duke. So perhaps we should get on with it. Introducing the new Grand Duke, Saravok Anchev. Ankev? Jeez, this is the first time we've ever heard this dude's last name. This, this motherfucker has a last name? What? <laughs> How do you think he sounds? He, he would have to, like we said, he has to talk like he does at the beginning. That's his Saravok voice. He's not putting on the Covirus act. That was the true Saravok, right? In the opening cinematic, assuming that's him, and look at the armor, that had to be him. I am honored to be here before... <laughs> <coughs> before such a respected assemblage of noblemen, I accept my new position with full awareness to my new responsibilities. And I will have many of them. <laughs> I would first like to address many of the questions that had been asked earlier. The rumors about arms and mobilization for war are entirely true, as is the involvement of their Zenterim cohorts. But do not worry, we are not bereft of a defense. Although the recent Zentish attempt at depriving us of the most valuable war resource, iron, has weakened us, it has not crippled us. When my father was most recently murdered, I inherited his control over the western branch of the Iron Throne. They have a great deal of stockpiled iron, enough for all of our needs. I will give this to the city to do with as you will. Unfortunately, our greatest military commander lies on his deathbed, a grievous blow to this city. To ensure that the Flaming Fist is well led, I will be assuming direct control. <laughs> I will be assuming control of the mercenary regiment with Permission from its current steward, Angelo. Wait one moment. That is not in your power to decide. <laughs> I hope he kills him right now. <laughs> Shut up. Let Servox speak. Instead of waiting for the war to come to us, we will take it to them. With the flaming fist, we should be able to easily take the town of Nashkel and then quickly fortify the mountain pass through the cloud peaks. What? Who dares to interrupt? Oh my god, it's me. <laughs> Saravok has been elected the new Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. This does not bode well for anyone. It's me! You you I'm here to interrupt. Oh shit, they <laughs> they were! Most of them were blopple blopple, blopple gangers. <laughs> they really were. Alright, cool. Wait, were they all the ones that no, because there was one that sounded slightly different. Okay. <laughs> Great. So Belt and Leah Janoth were not doppelgangers. 
All right. Huh. Interesting. So how is Saravak going to play this with the doppelgangers changing right before us? Like, surely it would have been easier if the doppelgangers didn't turn. Huh. Hang on, why do we need to get involved here? Oh shit, they're coming after us. Okay, that's why. <laughs> oh shit, Khalid, get the fuck out of there, dude. Alright. Good. Alright, enrage. Good. Alright, let's go back to our... Yeah, we got that going on. Who is this? Oh, this is one of the Flaming Fist, huh? Good stuff. Oh no, Leah Jonas! Belt! Oh my god. They're all dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Were we supposed to have saved them? Oh shit, maybe we were supposed to have saved them. <laughs> The Grand Dukes are dead! Killed by assassins in our midst! Look there! The killers accused of murdering the leaders of the Iron Throne! They must be part of the plot! I don't want them alive! Kill them! Kill them all! You have failed, Lila Schnub! Oh no! Wait, we can kill him here right now! Wait, what happens if we kill him here right now? Surely we're not able to do that! I thought that was, like, legit a fail state. Wait, hold up, what the fuck is going on now? <laughs> or are we just gonna get, like, one shot here, real quick? Let's throw down some horror. Okay. I mean, this is getting really difficult to survive. Let's see. Fuck, I can't even make heads or tails of what the hell is going on. Alright, here we are. Don't worry Let's run over me. here. Shahira, heal me! Oh shit. You want it? You got it. Oh, I think I got obliterated. I don't think that's how- I think we were supposed to successfully defend them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we'll try that again. We'll try it again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Up in this way. Like this. Which, you know what? Now that I think of it, we should probably pre-buff, shouldn't we? Like, right here. Oh, fuck. Come on, everyone. Let's not get pushed up in here. Oh, jeez. Alright. There we are. That'll do. Okay. <clears throat> so protection from evil. That's a good one. Let's also get bless going on. Good. Vachium vacho vere. Dinner here, you were just going into the other room. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's see, how about Defensive Harmony? Lovely. And of course, who could forget Haste? Super useful. There. Alright. Let's do another quick save. Don't Hopefully these me. don't wear off. Okay. Let's just continue. What, 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 what? Because we don't need to make any decisions, do we? Oh no! They're fucked up, all of them. Most of them. Alright, I'm enraging. Okay. Let's go after this one here. Good. And then let's also try... Flame arrow on to this one. There we are. Okay, look at that. Lovely. We're carving right through them real fast. Good shit. Okay, and then we could even... What should we do here? Miscast magic, rigid thinking, charm person. Nah. It is important to note, Saravok is not moving here during this, right? He's just standing stoically. Oh shit, she got killed too! Huh. 
Belt survived, but the lady did not. Oh, shit. So you could probably make it through this to where they both survive. How do we want to play this then? I wonder if there's also like a permutation where none of them survive and you can keep playing. Maybe there, you could have actually done that. How do we want to, how do we want ours to go though, I wonder? Because we, certainly we could keep doing attempts on this and play it out to where we get one that we want. Do we want one of the two of them to live? Do we want them both alive or do we want none of them alive? So just for the sake of role-playing, we can decide right now how we want that. <clears throat> I don't know. With it being my first playthrough, I kind of want them both alive, you know? Yeah, with this being the first time I've ever played or seen the game, I feel like I, I want to reload to where they're both alive. Okay. Let's just skip through this until we can... I'm not going to read any of that. All right. There we go. Good. Now, let's go on. This. Let's roll on up right up here. As Good. What, 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 what? Perhaps I will shut up. Let's see shut speak. up. Okay, and then enrage. Get that going. Cool. Okay, now we want to try and have Belt and Leah Janoth alive. Good. Okay. So let's try... We could try to web them. Right? That could be useful. Let's throw web down. Do you think that'll get us in trouble? Oh shit, there goes fucking belt. Like a complete oh. doofus lord. Getting obliterated by this guy. Okay. Oh, you know what? We can have Jahira heal them. Right. Okay, let's do that. Good. Fire off this direction. Lovely. Mint, pop a potion here. Okay. Oh, Minsk is uncontrollable at the moment. Oh, is it because we're all crowd controlled? Oh, man. It rooted us all. Right, it held. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was a bad idea, doing that. Oh, that's not our not our finest moment with the the web right in the middle. It worked on everybody except for like a couple doppelgangers and they've just seized the opportunity to obliterate everybody else. Okay, okay, we're trying it again, we're trying it again. All right, here goes, up here. Okay. Some of this, like, operatic music going on right now, it's it's very familiar of some parts in Mass Effect 1, I think, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Some of the music, some of the score of Mass Effect 1? It sounds really familiar, like when a big reveal is just happening or, like, it's showing, uh, what's his name? Sarek? Saren? All right. Jeez. How do I, how do I maneuver like this? You want it? You got it. Okay, that'll have to do. Good. Alright. Let's see. We could also do, like, negative plane protection on someone. We could even cast it on, like, Belt or somebody if we wanted to. But I don't- I don't know that we should. Right? I don't- I don't know that we should. Hmm. Entangle, that's AoE, unfortunately. Oh, whoops. I'm casting that on our friend. For the group. All right, good. Let's get. I guess we could put like minor globe of involve. Well, now that's self cast. Oh well. What can you do? There we go. And when you need to get the fuck out of there. All right. Let's get like Khalid on this one. Pull the aggro if you can. Good. Where's dinner here at? Get you out of the fray. Slurp a potion if you can. Good. Alright. 
Let's see. Dinner here. Can you also launch a flame arrow? How is Belt doing? We're not doing great, but we are living. Let's get Minsk over here. Because I'm kind of tanking these up to the north kind of well. Oh, shit. Oh, dinner here. Oh, fuck. She got annihilated. Man, it's kind of hard to save them and us. All right. We'll do it again. Fortunately, the attempts are quite quick and easy. Perhaps I wait. Shut up. Let Servox speak. All right. Good. And let's have the rest of Team Bald sort of position like this to where the I casters aren't quite in the try. room. Don't worry about me. And I'll be over here. Good. Okay. Good. Now, I also want ranged on this one that's attacking Leah Janoth. Let's get the flame arrow out. There we are. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Where is Khalid at? Where is Khalid? Okay. Somewhere right there. How is Belt doing? Belt seems to be doing okay. We could probably stand to launch a small heal onto Belt. Yeah, in fact, we definitely could. All right, we're gonna go over here, help him out. Good. All right, perfect. That's the run. Right? They all survived, didn't they? Yeah, Belt and Leah Janoth. Okay. You want it, you got it. Good. Good, good, good. Whew. How did this person sound again? I was lucky to, that such brave people such as yourselves intervened on our behalf. Is there anything that I can do for you in return? Take a look at these documents we have. Saravok is the one who tried to kill you, had Entar killed, and nearly killed Elton. Saravok's the one who set you up to be killed. You have to kill him now. We have Saravok's diary. Take a look through it. Saravok is the one who tried to kill you and had Entar killed and nearly killed Elton. Huh. Weird. So, yeah, I wonder what would happen if these two had died. Oh, that's so interesting how this could, like, there's permutations here. I love that, honestly. Okay. Okay. We have Saravok's diary. Take a look through it. I'll take a look, but if you're wrong, the punishment for such false accusations is severe. Those people are the ones wanted on multiple counts of murder. Kill them. These people are not to be touched until I've finished reading these documents. You don't need to read that document, but since I know you're too stupid to take my advice... I'll just take your head. <gasps> oh my god. Are we like really legit fighting Saravok right now? Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's put a big heal on Belt. Then. Belt, you should go to range. Swap to range, Belt. Swap to fucking ranged. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's launch a magic missile over yonder. Good. Should we cast another heal on this fool? I think so. He is liable to just get one shot. Frankly, so kind of am I. Look at this. I'm taking some heat. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting fucked up here. All right. Let's see. Throw some heals onto my ass. Fuck. Let's see. Hmm. I'm, I'm tempted to, like, pull off of Saravok real quick. Because another swing might, like, fuck me up. Oh. Cannot hide forever. <laughs> okay, his, his evil voice isn't that evil. <laughs> 
it is still kind of sinister, right? It's, it's kind, it's well, I don't even know if it's maybe he just didn't say enough, right? It's it's more just he's he's got a very deep voice. <laughs> it's nowhere near as evil as it was during the opening. All right. You and I aren't finished yet, Lila Snub. I'll kill you just as I killed Gorion. The only way you'll ever live in peace is if you kill me first. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness he ran away. He could have killed me. <laughs> Whew. I think it is in your best interest to hunt Saravak and kill him before he does the same to you. We've seen enough killing. I think you're right. The only problem is finding the bastard. I think you're right. Through the power of my god, I should be able to divine his location. Just wait a moment and I'll tell you where he is gone. I feel like, you know, when you're being elected to... Well, I don't know. In, in this society? I guess it's just like... It's the will of the people then? It's the democratic will of the people if the people just choose to elect someone who is evil? Right? <laughs> <laughs> who is just like undemonstrably like even beyond debate who is like through divine providence through magical means you are able to look at them and cast a spell and see in their heart of hearts this person isn't even trying to do something because they think it's right and they're like misguided or whatever or they have all this like years of built up shit or whatever and they think that some so and so is the right thing to do and they're like making the wrong call they're just evil they're just fucked up. They're just a fucked up dude, right? In this world, is it is it cool to just elect someone who's evil? <laughs> I mean, sure, if you're if you're like part of an evil, I don't know, if you're part of an evil country, you know, a country where everyone is evil. <laughs> Morality it sure is weird in this world. But if you're part of I guess I guess in that case, the question is, if you're part of like a uh, as lore defines it, an evil place. The 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 inverse would be like, is it cool that we're just electing a good person as our leader? <laughs> right? Does no one do like like vet these people? Is no one like casting spells of like, I'm going to detect evil on you and see if you're actually fucked up? <laughs> it's so fucking wild. I kind of love it though. It's so it's very charming, <laughs> like of its time, and very much fits like kind of the like goofy semi-serious nature of Baldur's Gate I feel right anyway anyway uh I should be able to divine his location just wait a moment and I'll tell you where he has gone that's him doing it <laughs> he's, he's doing it right there he has been teleported to the thieves guild I will dimension fold you to where he has gone from there you can follow him and kill him good luck Wait, what if what if we need to heal? We might we need to rest. I'm hurt. No! <laughs> no! I need to heal! I'm not ready to fight him just yet! <laughs> Let me take a potion! I hate them flaming fist pansies. Dencod. Wait, hang on, is this person's name something backwards as well? <gasps> Doc Ned. <laughs> what is this? It seems like everyone's crashing in on the Thieves Guild these days. First that huge armored guy, and now you! You better tell me what you're here about, and right quick, or you're in a lot of trouble. We're tracking down Saravok, the huge armored guy. Where did he go? So even, yeah, so even even in canon, in the games like lore and world building, he is just a huge armored guy, and his armor is terrifying. He does look fucked up. He looks like a really fucked up sinister guy. <laughs> Out of our way, thief. We have important matters to solve and don't have time to waste on you. We're tracking the huge armored guy. He went down the stairs, right over there. He was sure in a hurry. If you're going after the guy, it'd probably be good of you to get a little more prepared than you look. Down there's the thief warrens, and they're really dangerous. Go talk to Black Lily over in the storeroom by the stairs. 
She'll give you some good prices on equipment. I even hear she sells some magic stuff. Oh, cool. The maze. What? Saravok's plans have been shattered, but he has escaped to the Thieves' Guild. I must pursue him there and end his crusade of terror once and for all. If I do not, he will most likely return to strike at me in the future. Perhaps when I am not prepared. The Grand Dukes can transport me to the Thieves' Guild instantaneously, so I must make haste. Yeah, they've already transported me here. I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even ask them to. Okay. Well. Saravok has just fled the Thieves' Guild and has escaped into a maze. The maze leads to the Undercity, an old settlement that once stood where Baldur's Gate is now. It appears he intends to make his final stand there. Hmm. The Undercity. Okay. I like how the yeah. <laughs> the journal has told us this first and foremost. Alright. So where is this person in the storeroom? Thank you. Don't worry about me. Let's see. Well here. We'll go as our main it? character because we're it. so quick. Is this the storeroom? I don't even remember. Yeah, it is. Okay. Can we rest here? I don't I'll I don't do remember that either. Let's get everyone positioned kind of nearby. You know, gather your party. You want it? You've got it. It will be the darkest day you've ever never seen. You've never seen. Before I don't have what you need. For the right price anyway. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> what what do you have? Let's see. A bunch of arrows, a bunch of potions. Okay. And we do know for a fact we can't keep anything with us between playthroughs, so if we want some shit, we may as well grab it, right? We may as well buy up what we want and what we need here. Right? There's, like, no sense in not buying what we need. Hmm. The only question is, what do we think we need? Potion of magic blocking? That seems useful. But also... Potentially dangerous, because we do get quite a few nice buffs from our own party. Magic shielding. Now that seems useful. Okay. Hmm. How about... Well, we should definitely buy ammunition, right? I think that should be at the forefront of our thought here. Okay. Man, wild that we cannot rest here. Can, can I just normal rest? No, okay. Fucking A. Let's see. Hmm. Let's move this over to Imwen, whose inventory is full, actually. Let's see. Bolt of lightning, bolt plus one. I very well may want to get, like, all plus two on Imwen, right? I'm kind of tempted by that. Rather than just like arrow of piercing plus one and like arrow of biting plus one. Maybe just stacking plus twos is the way to go. Yeah, that feels right to me. Okay. You want here we it? Go. You got it. Let's get Jahira over here. Tis good as done. Good. And then let's buy so how many is in a stack of this? Ten? Okay, and it stacks up to eighty, right? So let's buy I don't know. Thirty two. Oops. 32. Okay. Good. And then we'll equip these like so. Oh, we should buy some more. Okay. Let's do this. Um, do we want some extras as well? Should we buy another set of 32? I kind of feel like we should. There we are. 
Did I just buy 32 of them? Maybe I can't because there's only 18. Yeah, maybe I'm just buying... Yeah, maybe I should just fucking buy them all then. Okay. Gotcha. There we are. Good. And then we'll pass these off to dinner here. Hold on to those. Good. Okay. Now we do have these arrows of fire plus two. Which are quite nice. However, M1 is also quite good at using bolts, right? Because they go out extra quick. That said, so too is this thing really good. This protector of the dryads. What are you more skilled at, M1? The bow here? Or the crossbow? Let's see. Class... Don't even remember what we really specced her in. Oh, sort of both. Okay. Hmm. So what's the Thacko difference? It's it's identical, isn't it? Two, and then one. Well, no. Yeah, my bad. Well, one less Thacko, but you shoot out at double the rate. That just seems better, you know? It just seems better. I think maybe we should finally sell off some of these weird-ass arrows. Like, plain arrow of ice. You know? I feel like some of this is worth just getting the fuck out of here. Okay. I'm gonna do I'm it. Gone. It is interesting that here we're finally getting access to plus two ammunition. Sort of in mass, I think. The only other place that we got that was from the DLC area. Oh, do you actually not sell bolts? Oh, it's just arrows. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, then you don't have everything that I would want. You sneaky butt. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, that makes it easier. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Well then, in that case, let us move some bolts up there then. Do I have some other bolts in Imwin's inventory? I don't think so. Bolt of biting. Bolt plus one. Hmm. More lightning bolts. Huh. Yeah, alright. Let's move the bolts over, I suppose. We could stack these up just as well. Or I guess we could just get the arrows in there. Right, why not? Because she is equally skilled at using arrows. Yeah, why not? She'll be a significantly slower, but... Eh, fuck it. Okay, that'll do. And then let's get you all equipped properly here with these plus two bullets. Because they don't go through ammunition quite as quick. Though I suppose neither will Imowin now. Right. At least until she runs through this stack of 70. Okay. Sure. Good, good, good. Alright. I think we're fully situated with regards to... ammunition. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Alright. Now do we want anything else, though? Is the question. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Who should I pass this other junk off to? Just as well. I guess Jahira? There you go, Jahira. 
Take all that. Okay. And then we could procure some more potions if we want. We did run out of potions on Jahira, but Jahira also has an elixir of health, which heals 10 hit points, and a normal one heals 9. Yeah, so that's better. Okay. Let's see. You want it? You got it. What else could we buy here as far as potions are concerned? Magic shielding, like I said, could be good. Potion of power. Yeah, that could be good. Fuck it, we may as well buy them. Right, because we're we're going to run out of shit anyway. Okay. And magic protection, magic resistance. Yep, take that. Should we also just buy a stack of healing potions? I mean, why not? If we have the room for them. Yeah, let's have Khalid haul them around. I can, but try. There we are. We'll just buy an entire stack of those. There we are. And you're not encumbered, Khalid, right? Oh yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. You can even, yeah, you can hold them. Okay, cool. Neat. Put that up there. All right. Well, this looks good, except for the fact that we are quite uh, weary and worn out. It'd be nice to be able to rest. Maybe we can rest down there. I've got I'm not sure. Dengkod. Hey. Oh, it's the same dialogue from before. We're tracking the huge armored guy. We'll quick save and go down here. Oh no! It's Valletta Stiletto. <gasps> Blast you thrice over. I don't know who you be, but if you are in league with him that cut me down, you can all go straight to Hades. May the spirits of those that built this maze take you down. Shut your yap. I am looking for the one called Saravok. Did he come this way? You look injured. Who has done this to you? I mean you no harm. I am only here to find Saravok. Who has done this to you? Who? Saravok it was. I've recognized him from when I was, uh, exploring the Iron Throne base the other day. I'll be all right. Really? You will? You look like you're a corpse. <laughs> you look like the kind of body I would loot after a fight. I'll be all right. He was in too much of a hurry to do a proper job on me. Oh, God. Okay. You've got my, you've got my blessings if you're tracking him down. Could you guide me through the maze so I can find him? I do not need your blessings. He will not escape me. Sure, give me your blessing. Is it actually a thing? Is it, is it, are you really going to bless me? Let's see. Ha! Huh. Uh, I mean, no. No, I won't be doing that. I never seen anyone walk out of the maze alive. Not that you won't survive or anything. I bet you just waltz through without a problem. Yes, ma'am. I'll just wait here to hear about it, though. I ain't got no wish to meet the undead that maintain her, nor the jellies that keep her clean. Gotta, gotta catch my breath, you understand. Where does the maze lead? I don't rightly know. Though it is said, there is a city beneath this- Ah! Some archaeologist, uh, a city beneath this one. Some archaeologist, smart assed sage, might be able to tell you more about it. It's not really a proper city down there, you understand. Just the remains. Not surprising, really. If the site that Baldur's Gate is built on is so appealing, it would figure that there would have been one built here before. I care little. Nothing but dead down there now. Get moving. I understand. Rest you well. Yeah, whatever. Just be sure to give Saravok a shank of steel. Oh, journal update. The Thieves' Maze was built long ago and now serves as a decoy escape route to fool trespassers. It is maintained by undead and kept clean by jellies, likely enslaved by some long-forgotten thief adept at magic. It leads to under... Jeez. 
<laughs> likely enslaved. Fuck me. It leads to the Undercity, an old settlement that once stood where Baldur's Gate is now. Nothing but undead down there now, supposedly. And Saravok. And maybe whatever Saravok has been planning, right? Maybe some, like, big murder ritual? Let's see. Tandem in Extremis. Evidently, Saravok has entered the Thieves' Maze, a warren of passageways built long ago that now serves as a decoy escape route to fool trespassers. It is maintained by undead and kept clean by jellies, likely inside. Okay, yada yada, nothing. Okay. All right, fair enough. It's the same as this down here. Okay. Sure. Well, let's you go over it. here. Can we You've rest now? Let's see. Tonight you sleep oh. hunted by all, and wake in a dream hunted by one. Tonight you are the monster everyone claims you are, the kobold scorned like a rodent. The cobra that children fear comes in the night. The mobs and their torches now come for you, counting you among the creatures you once did hunt. Or so someone would have you believe. Once again you hear the voice, a voice that now makes no secret of its origins. It speaks of destiny and nature, and of evils bred in the bone. It says you will never be free of the mob, that they will hunt you for what you are. Murder and death run through your heart, and accepting that will supposedly give you power. The essence of Ball within you cannot be ignored. But you have not ignored it. You realize that from the first you have fought the very blood in your veins, fought dagger and claw for each victory, and ultimately you have triumphed. With righteous will, you have turned the dark forces within you to good purpose. Whatever the foundation of your being, you have remade yourself in your own image. Amidst threats it does not yet know are empty, the voice tries to play upon your doubts, but finds none. As you stare unwavering, the presence grows weaker and weaker. As it fades from your mind, one warning does stand out amidst the din. It speaks of others that will listen where you have not, others that will embrace what you have rejected, and mm. others that will be your death. This describes but one man, and you know of no other it could be. He who orchestrated your fall, deceived your comrades, and deserves all that your justice shall meet upon him, Saravak. He is a debt that must be paid to the whole of the Sword Coast. You awake sure of your cause, and of what must be done. But knowing that there is a sequel, right? <laughs> we can also surmise that there is probably more than just this guy. There is more than Saravok, right? Just as well, we don't know, like, how much older or even younger they could be relative to our character, right? Huh. Because there could, like, we could have other half-siblings who are significantly older and have been, like, entrenched in the world already and aren't, like, I don't know. I, I guess I I guess I kind of paint Saravok as being a bit younger because it does show, like, a, like, parent-offspring sort of relationship between Saravok and his father, Right? Even though Saravok definitely comes across as like a full ass fucking man and without that could easily be read as being like, I don't know, like a grown ass adult, right? But it does seem like they're only like at most 10 years your senior. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, there could be like a, like there could be an old man who is also your half sibling from Ball. Right. And I, I almost feel like that's that's what that's in reference to the uh, other prophecy stuff. Like we will fight Saravok here and win, but then there will be another force at play. Like this was just how how you learn about what the fuck is going on. OK. Very interesting. And hey, we're all rested up. Well, you know what? This seems like as good of a time as any before we descend into this whatever maze, the Undercity. 
Uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> well, wherever we're going, it doesn't seem very good. <laughs> Maybe also in between videos, we'll reconfigure our um, casting repertoire and all of that. Maybe. That way it's more tuned for, like, actual dungeon exploration rather than escaping the police. <laughs> All right. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Until next time, please take care of each other.